does make you Jewish? Well, it's very simple. According to Jewish halacha, uh -huh. uh, my mother is Jewish, uh -huh. so I'm Jewish, so uh -huh. it's very simple. I see. What makes your mother Jewish? Because her mother was Jewish. And her mother, what made her Jewish? Yeah. Right. I'm sorry? The same. The same. All the generation are Jewish. Okay, so who was the first Jew? I know who was the first Jew? The first, Abraham, the first Jewish mother. Abraham, our ancestor. But that's a father. Who, who is the first mother? Sarah? What? Not mine. Okay. <laughs> I did not choose Judaism ideologically. I was born Jewish as I, as I was born Berlin. And it is important for me that my kids will be proud of their family. This, this is the, whole, the only thing. Okay, but let's say there is a Palestinian majority. You are still born to a Berlin. This is 100% true, but I will not stay here. This is the only difference. Why? I mean, I don't want to be a minority in a Palestinian state. With all due respect and my appreciation to the Palestinians and to the Arabs, this is not the place that I would uh, choose to live in. Why not? Why not? I don't want, I mean, am I, am I a free man? If I'm a free man, I don't want to live here. Why are the Oriental Jews referred to as Oriental Jews versus Arab Jews? Because they would be very insulted if you call them Arab Jews. Is that a derogatory term, the word Arab? Of course. Well, it was made derogatory. In other words, there was a deal struck, in a way, with them back in the 50s. If you want to integrate, if you want to be Israelis, if you want to be part of our society, you have to stop being Arabs. Now, we'll call you Sephardi Jews, Mizrahi Jews, maybe Eastern Jews, but those will become folkloristic, sanitized identities.